Now, this is one of those things that you want to store in your memory banks, but a default value in a function allows you to create a parameter that is optional because you give it a default value. So that what that means is if when I call this function, see it's got two parameters, message and times. So if I say print message that number of times inside the function, then when I give this a string and an integer, it will print that message however many times I say. If I don't give it that parameter, or don't give an argument for that parameter, then it just defaults to one, and it will print the message one time. So if I call that function like this with just a string, then it will by default print it one time. If I do this, I don't know why there's an X there. Um, let me get rid of that because that's confusing. If I do this, it will say this string five times. So whatever I, when I give it that message, when I give it that parameter, it overrides what's there. So when I run this code, okay, So I can send it an asterisk, it says it one time, but because that's the default. I could set the default to five if I want. <clears throat> okay, and then it defaults to that. But I can literally give it any number I want as that second argument, and it will override what's in there. So a default argument allows me to make parameters optional. And that's nice, especially if most of the time you're going to have the same value in that parameter and you might want to override it sometimes. Again, these are less frequently used. <clears throat>